Chills up, Iron Breakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another video. Welcome back to Monster Hunter World. And to be completely honest, there really isn't that much going on in the game right now. I mean, sure, Cove to Roth is back, but I already farmed her into oblivion last time she came around. As a matter of fact, she came around a little bit earlier than she was supposed to because Capcom made a mistake or something. And I gotta be honest, it was way too soon, you know? I'd be cool not seeing Cold Taroth for like another two months or something because I'm a little bit burnt out on that particular encounter. So instead of doing Cold Taroth, which I kind of did a video for you guys, if you guys wanna go do Cold Taroth, the build that I would advise you to use because it is not only an effective build, it is also a build that allows you to, you know, do repeated farming runs without getting burnt out super fast. But ultimately, it's like I didn't feel like doing Cold to Roth, and I was like, okay, so let's try out a playstyle that I personally haven't tried out yet, which is the spread heavy bow gun. Now, I'm not saying this is particularly original. I mean, because I'm pretty sure that a lot of people play spread heavy bow gun. As a matter of fact, a lot of people kept telling me, Rickon, you got to try spread heavy bow gun. And I was like, okay, let, let me give it a shot. And uh, I was lucky enough last time around to get the Taroth Assault Glutton, which I believe is probably the best spread assault rifle at this point in the game. I could be wrong because, again, you guys know me, I'm not a particular bow gun expert, so therefore everything that I say in this video, take that with a grain of salt. But the Taroth Assault Glutton is for damn sure powerful as all hell. You got a lot of damage, you got some, you got spread level 3, you got 10% uh, affinity, and on top of it you still have two augmentation slots, which if you guys are curious, I think that I would probably either double down on attack or maybe attack and affinity, or attack and health regen if that's what you want to get. That would be my suggestion for augmentations. Me personally, I'm not too committed to the heavy bow gun, so I'm not particularly concerned. In terms of mods, I went with recoil suppressor, close range up, and shield. You can change this around uh, if you want a different playstyle. I like having the shield so that I can block attacks uh, if I actually need to. Recoil suppressor allows you to fire and move whilst firing spread uh, ammunition level 3, which is pretty good. And close range up is pretty self-explanatory. If you're going to be using spread ammunition, you're going to be pretty close to the monster's face. So therefore, there you go. You're going to be... The close range up is going to increase the amount of damage you're going to be doing. Now... Let's take a look at the build that I am using uh, right here. I'm not, again, uh, a lot of people looked at my last bow build and you guys were like, oh, you just copied this build off, this is not your build. And it's like, look, I am i don't scour the internet looking for every single build under in, in the existence, okay? Usually I just come up with a build and if sometimes my build lines up with someone else's, if I have seen it before, I will say it like I did for the Crimson Blur build, which was my Dual Blades build, it was inspired by a different build that I saw, but on a lot of situations, it might line up because that's just the way to go with it, okay? And that a lot of people kind of think alike when it comes to dealing damage. So if this lines up with another build, I haven't seen it, just letting you guys know. Anyway, first armor piece, Dragon King Eye Patch Alpha, hardly the most original uh, armor piece there. <laughs> I mean, you got your weakness exploit level two, not a whole lot to say. And uh, adding to that, you have another armor piece that is essentially the same thing, super overused Dover Male Beta with that level 2 attack boost. Now we got the Kaiser Van Braces Beta filling up the last bit of weakness exploit and giving us a tier 3 decoration slot that we're going to be using. We got the Nair Gigante Coil Beta bringing in an additional 2 attack boost. And then the Nair Gigante Greaves Beta which is going to bring in some maximum might into the equation. And we wrap everything down with the Maximum Might Charm, which is going to max out our Maximum Might. <laughs> so funny. When it comes to decorations on the Dragon King Eye Patch Alpha, we got the Critical Jewel 2. On the Dober Male Beta, we got the Spread Jewel 3. On the Kaiser Van Braces Beta, Critical Jewel 2. Nergigante Coil Beta, we got an Elementalist Jewel because this weapon actually does not have elemental ammunition. There, therefore, this will increase the attack of your weapon. And finally, when it comes to the Greaves, we have Critical Jewel 2. Now, I realize that not everyone is going to have three Critical Jewels. There might be a couple of parts that you can exchange here and there. But to be completely honest, the game just kind of throws critical jewels at me. I would not be exaggerating if I told you that I have melded well over 20 critical jewels. And I know you guys are going to say, Rurikon, you're so lucky. It's like, 
On the on the complete flip side of that, though, I have never once seen a capacity jewel, which would actually be more valuable to me than all of these critical jewels, because as you guys know, I play Gunlance and I'd like to have a capacity jewel, or maybe my third artillery jewel, that'd be really cool, but I never get to see those, but I do have a ton of critical jewels. So looking at the finalized build, you got attack boost level four, get that 5% increase in affinity with uh, a little bit of attack boost. Then you got critical boost level three, weakness exploit level three, maximum might level three, spread power shots level one, and non-elemental boost. So essentially what this is gonna do to you is you're going to have a base affinity whenever your stamina is full of 45% which naturally, if you are hitting a monster weak spot, is going to be raised to 95%, which means you're going to be critting most of the time. Therefore, having level three critical boost is also going to increase the damage of each of your shots. If you then, on top of that, add something like uh, the meat platter to increase the damage and anything else that you can do to increase the damage, basically, you're gonna be pumping out some pretty good m numbers and you're gonna be pretty much brutalizing any monster that you're able to stay in close block proximity of. Having said that, while it does feel extremely satisfying to use the spread heavy bowgun, and I completely understand that a lot of people love this playstyle, to me, I actually appreciate the uh, the piercing playstyle a little bit more. And I know it's less optimized, doesn't deal as much damage, not as, but it's like, but I can fire it from range, you know? As a matter of fact, one of the things that I like about this particular uh, this particular heavy bow gun is that it actually has the wyvern snipe and i wish that the legia shatter price would have the wyvern snipe as well or the, the other the taroth assault support i think which is the one that's got the, the good piercing uh the good piercing ammo i wish that one would have wyvern snipe as well because i like keeping my distance unfortunately the the two best piercing heavy bow guns at least i believe that they are the two best piercing heavy bow guns from what i've seen they have the wyvern heart and i'm like why i mean piercing from afar sniper i love that play style way more but i do understand that you like spread it's just to be completely honest not for me but still here's the build let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below at this point of the video most likely the end slate will have shown up so if you guys want to watch another one of my videos feel free to click on it and youtube will take you there otherwise if you enjoy my content remember subscribe hit the bell icon, click the notification so that you actually get notified for my videos. Really appreciate all of you guys' support, and I will see you guys in the next one.